I'm Rachel Hernandez, real estate investor turned mobile home investor and best-selling author. I make a living investing in mobile homes for cash flow for long-term passive income. After many mistakes and lessons learned, I've been able to create the kind of life where I can do the types of things I want to do, not have to do. I created the Adventures in Mobile Homes podcast to share with you what I've learned so you can spend more time with family, friends, and do things you love. Mobile home investing can help you get there. If you want to hear real stories with practical and actionable advice you can use from someone who's been in the trenches and who's still investing today to create the type of life you love, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Well, hello, and welcome to the Adventures in Mobile Homes podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Hernandez, aka Mobile Home Girl of AdventuresinMobileHomes.com. Thank you so much for joining me here on the fifth episode of the podcast. Now, just in case you missed it, be sure to tune in to the last episode where I talk about the importance of taking action and what kind of action to take as a mobile home investor. You can find it along with the show notes at www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash four. And that is the number four. Okay, so let's get started. So last week, I shared with you about the importance of taking action as a mobile home investor. But not any type of action. Focused action. One that produces results for you. But apart from taking action, you also need another set of eyes experienced ones that can evaluate and give you feedback on the types of action that you take. Basically, a mentor to help answer any questions and help you along your mobile home investing journey. So, once you have a plan and are ready to take action, and hopefully have a mentor you can turn to when you need help, you're ready to take your first step. Now, one of the things you can do to take action as a mobile home investor, just starting out, is to learn your market. Because it's not enough to just go out there and start looking for mobile home deals in parks. If you don't know your market, you won't be able to spot opportunities when they come. So today, I'm going to talk about how you, as a mobile home investor, can take action steps to learn your market the importance of learning your market, and how and why it can get you ahead of the competition. But before we move on, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Hey there, Rachel here. Are you ready to take action with your mobile home investing plans? Are you tired of waiting On the sidelines? Have you been trying to make things happen as a mobile home investor, but you're not getting the results you want? Do you need the guidance of an experienced mobile home investor like me? If yes, then I've got a mobile home investing course for you. It's called What You Need to Do to get started in mobile home investing. It takes you from point A to point B on the steps you need to do to take action 
as a mobile home investor and get you the results you want. With so much information out there, it's overwhelming to go out, search, and come up with a plan for taking action on what you need to do to get started as a mobile home investor. In addition to the course, it includes a 50-page workbook where you can follow along and take notes, a free audiobook where I talk about getting started as a mobile home investor and the mistakes you need to avoid. Plus, you'll get access to a private forum where you can ask me questions directly, post your deals, and get opinions on them, and network with others who have taken the course. This is the only forum I go to personally answer questions from students. I have a special limited time offer for you as a listener of this podcast. So if you're ready to take action and need someone to help you with your mobile home investing plans, check it out at www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash take action training. Again, www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash take action training. Grab your seat and get started today. Now, back to the show. Okay, so why is it important to learn your market first? Can't you just go out? and find deals like everyone else? Because you know, you don't want to miss out on the deal of a lifetime just because you had to take the time to learn the market in the first place. Unfortunately, this isn't the way things work. Now, I'll be honest. Most investors just starting out They do it this way. They go out and find mobile home deals in parks. Then they do what they can to put a quote-unquote deal together. Or even worse, force it. Only for them to realize they don't know if it's a good deal or a bad deal. Then they turn to forums online, and most times, they don't have a mentor. Or they just don't see the value of paying a coach to help them out. People give them advice online, but you know what? It's random. It's not focused. And of course, this kind of advice is always based on the experience of the person giving it, which may not be in that investor's best interest. And so the deal falls apart, or even worse, they get into a bad deal. They lose money, they lose time. And in the end, they have a bad experience with mobile home investing. And so they get out of it all together and tell others, you know what, mobile home investing, it simply doesn't work. Now, I've heard this story from other investors time after time after time. And I'm gonna tell you, this is so far from the truth. You know why? Because if they took the time to actually learn the market and was patient, then they wouldn't have gotten into the situation in the first place. So today, I'm going to show you how you, as a mobile home investor, can learn your market and position yourself for success in the beginning. 
And this, my friend, will set you apart from the competition. So are you ready? Let's get started. When it comes to learning your market, there are a couple things you can do. Now, one of them is to first decide which mobile home parks you want to work in. Now, this will involve doing research, both online and locally, as to the mobile home parks in your area. So, when just starting out, you want to go and visit as many mobile home parks in your area. This will give you a chance to see different types of parks and neighborhoods. It will allow you to see what type of clientele each park attracts and whether or not they fit with your personality. This is such an important concept. You have to work in parks that you feel comfortable with and those that work well with your personality. Now, I won't get into this too much here, but I'll be sure to cover it in another podcast episode. So stay tuned. In my book, Adventures in Mobile Homes, How I Got Started in Mobile Home Investing and How You Can Too, I have a whole chapter on finding mobile home parks to work with which I'll link up here in the show notes. Basically, you want to figure out what types of parks you feel comfortable working with, whether they be low-end parks, middle-of-the-road parks, or high-end parks, which is the type of parks I choose to work in. Now, you can only do this by visiting the parks themselves. This means talking to people and networking with the park managers and or the owners. You can't do this over the phone or by reading online. This is what many investors just starting out do. And honestly, it's not going to get you anywhere. Nothing beats having a face-to-face conversation with an actual person. As Woody Allen says, 80% of success is showing up. Now that's a big percentage. So be sure you show up and do the same. So once you figure out what kind of parks you want to work in, the other thing you have to do is learn the values of the homes in these parks, as well as the rents. What are homes going for in these parks? How many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? What types of features do these homes have? What are buyers looking for? When doing fix-up work, can you get by with sheet vinyl and carpet in these homes? Or do you need something fancier, like laminate flooring or vinyl plank? Again, this will depend on the area and the types of clientele the park attracts. What are people willing to pay for these homes? What are the values? What are the rents? What are the surrounding apartment communities renting their units for? There are three bedrooms, there are two bedrooms, etc., etc. So you see, you need to do your market research and your own due diligence to learn the market before you buy your first mobile home deal. Otherwise, you won't know what a good deal is when one comes across your way. Without taking the time to learn your market, you'll bumble around like most real estate investors. It will set you back, and you'll lose time, and you'll lose money. You'll miss out on deals and opportunities, all because 
you didn't take the time to learn your market in the first place. So don't take the step for granted. And I know you want to go out and find and put together your first deal. Believe me, I've been there. I've been impatient myself. But I'll tell you, as an experienced investor with over a decade of experience in the mobile home investing space, it's not worth it. You can't skip the step. So put your head down, do the work, and do what it takes to learn your market. Now, when you're out there learning the market, you want to have a journal with you at all times. Whether it be digital through your phone or by using a good old-fashioned notebook, which is my preferred way, and I have several of them, have a system for writing things down. Don't try to keep all of this stuff in your head because it's overwhelming and you'll forget. By writing things down, you'll have something to refer to when going back to your notes and reflecting on what you've learned about your market. Think of it as an information gathering stage. You're just out there to get information. So whatever information you get, whether it be by talking to park managers and or owners, other residents, mobile home dealerships, other contractors, and anyone else you think can help you learn your market, you need to write the information down as you receive it. If not, you'll forget. And you may have left out an important and valuable piece of information, which is the last thing you want to do. As a side note, I'll link up an article here titled 10 Important Members of Your Mobile Home Investing Team. If you need help on talking to people, in the mobile home investing space as you start to learn your market. I'll be sure to cover the topic of networking in another episode. So hang in there with me. So when I started out, I took my mobile home journal, as I call it, with me everywhere. Every time I visited a park, I'd write down notes about the park, including what I saw and who I talked to. I jotted down exactly what type of park it was, the amenities included, and how the park looked in general. I made sure to write down whether or not it seemed like the residents took care of their yards and their homes. If I saw loose dogs in the area or potholes in the street, I noted that too. If I talked with the park manager, I wrote down that manager's name and was sure to take a business card. I took note of all the information I gathered from that manager in casual conversation on that specific trip and multiple trips which it does take time to get to know them. I made note of the lot rent amount, the rules and regulations mentioned, whether or not they were willing to work with me, and other types of things we talked about in conversation. So you see, this is a lot of information to take in. This is why it's so important to have something to write in and gather the information that you get when learning your market. If I met up with a mobile home dealership, 
I did the same thing. I was sure to take a business card. And again, I brought my mobile home journal with me ready to take notes and learn. Of course, I'd have to jot my notes down and talk at the same time. I wanted it to look like it was natural. Now, I will admit this takes practice. Interviewing people and asking questions, but not making it seem like you're asking all the questions, it also needs to be a two-way street. Thankfully, I learned this skill early on with my background in corporate sales. But you know what? You can too. With enough experience and time, it'll come eventually. And when you get it, it'll be just like riding a bike. And so my journal grew as I learned the market and added to it every day. Day by day, I gathered the information as it came. And eventually, I learned my market, and I was ready to start doing deals. It took time, and I didn't learn my market overnight. But I'm glad I did it. So there you have it. My advice on how you can learn the market and the steps you can take to do it as a mobile home investor just starting out. So what did you think? Did this episode help you in getting started as a mobile home investor? I hope so. As you can see, it's very important to take the time to learn your market when you're just starting out. You have to do this before you start looking for deals, or even worse, buying them. You don't want to go down that rabbit hole, believe me. By taking the time to learn your market, you'll be able to figure out exactly what types of parks you want to work in, the values of the homes in these parks, the types of clientele they attract, and what residents are looking for who want to live in these parks, and also the market rents in the area. All of this information adds up to you knowing the market and setting yourself apart from the competition. This way, when you go out and look for deals, you'll know what a good deal or a bad deal is when you encounter it. No more bumbling around asking for advice from other investors on online forums, or even worse, making mistakes that can cost you both time and money. Take it from me. Learn your market before you start looking for deals as a mobile home investor. You'll be glad you did. I hope this episode has helped. Learning the market is one action step you can take to help you get closer to your goals as a mobile home investor. An important action step and one not to be taken lightly. And speaking of action, if you yourself are ready to take action and feel that you need some guidance as a mobile home investor, I have a special training course for you. It's called What You Need to Do to Get Started in Mobile Home Investing. Basically, the course will take you from point A to point B on the steps you need to take to take action when just getting started as a mobile home investor. 
It's a completely self-paced training course that you can do on your own time. Now, in addition to the course, it also includes a 50-page workbook where you can follow along and take notes, a free audiobook where I talk about getting started as a mobile home investor and the mistakes you need to avoid. Plus, you'll get access to a private forum where you can ask me questions directly, post your deals, and network with others who have taken the course. This is the only forum I go to personally answer questions from students. Now, I have a special offer here for listeners of this podcast episode for a limited time only. You can check it out at www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash take action training. Again, www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash take action training. Hope that helps. And if you decide to take the course, I'll see you in the forums. Continuing along on the theme of taking action, I'll be talking about the different action steps you can take to start building up your business as a mobile home investor in the next couple of episodes. So stay tuned. For more information on this episode, check out the show notes where I link up some of the resources mentioned here. You can find it at www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash five. And that is the number five. Again, www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash five. And if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to share it with family and friends. And be sure to subscribe. If you have some time, I'd love to hear your feedback through a short Apple podcast review. Until next time, this is Rachel Hernandez, aka Mobile Home Girl of the Adventures in Mobile Homes podcast, signing off. Thanks for tuning in.